Good evening, everyone. Thank you so much uh, for having me here tonight. Thank you to Janice. Thank you to our host this evening as well. Uh, I, I will tell you how uh, the, the word that comes to mind about playing General George Washington is gratitude. Now, this was an imperfect man. And what I've learned over the course of many, many years is that he was a man of imperfect greatness. He was a man of his time. He was a man who owned other human beings. So we can't just look at the best part about General Washington, and there are many great parts. We have to look at the whole of him. And as we look at the whole of this man, one of the things I learned that was fascinating to me was we all think of him as sort of this marble statue who sort of stood there and always seemed to be together. But the truth is that when he was a young man, like this young man in front of me, he was incredibly reckless. <laughs> he used to walk into meetings with superior officers and tell them they're doing it wrong for years. Then what happened was he, he was sort of released from the British Army. He was hoping to be a British officer, never quite got there because of his mouth. Then over time, he left the British Army, went back to Mount Vernon where he married Martha Custis. When he went back there, I don't know if any of you, have any of you been to Mount Vernon? Yeah. Raise your hand if you have. It's a pretty great place to be, that place, Mount Vernon. One of the most remarkable, before season two of the show, I was able to sleep at Mount Vernon. And I got up at like 4.30 in the morning, and I went out to the Potomac, and I sat there. And I tried to engage with General Washington. That's how I was, was thought of him, and I was referred to him was as General Washington. And I sat there, and I, I heard the quiet, like we can hear him now. Except for that. <laughs> I heard the quiet. And I understood something about General Washington at that time which was that he learned how to calm his mind, to meditate, so that when he came upon some of these greatest challenges that he had, he was ready for them. And here's where the gratitude comes back in. For me, when I was growing up, this young boy's age, young man's age, I didn't really have a great understanding of American history. I looked back at the colonial time and I said, you know, sort of a bunch of guys and they all worked together and they fought a war and we got a country grand not actually how it went. And when we look deeply into the history of that time and of what happened during that time, what we learn is, especially here in New Jersey, if you look at what happened in Trenton, if you look at what happened in Princeton, these key moments in this war, you realize there were so many different places, so many different ways that this war may very well have been lost. When we understand that and we look at it from that perspective, and realize how fortunate so many of us are to live in this country, to call this country home. My belief, my understanding, is that we perhaps would take a little better care of it, perhaps take a little bit better care of each other during that time. Now here we are in maybe since the Civil War, the most challenging moments that this country has faced. We have Americans on either side looking at the other side and saying, you're not a real American, you're not a real American, you're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong. What does this 250th anniversary give us the opportunity to do? Start again. Come back to the understanding and the realization of how fortunate we really are. So all of you in this room, you gentlemen over there, all of you in this room who have given to this organization, to our hosts tonight, who have moved this idea forward, are doing what is best for this nation to survive, the survival of this republic. Thank you. <laughs> so once again, I want to say thank you for having me here. Thank you for letting me be a part of this evening. And um, keep your work going forward, 2026. May we still be that republic when we get there. And may we, our generation, for our children and for our children's children, begin to preserve it for the next 250 years. That is our responsibility. Thank you for doing your part. <laughs>